looking back five years, the best practice recommendation used to be every day. You know, you had to publish a blog post every day. So today it's not quantity, it's, it's more quality. So I would say invest in that awesome piece of content, you know, even if it, that awesome piece of content comes a couple times a month versus worrying about, I have to publish something every day. So that's more of a general from a, from a newsroom blog standpoint. Um, on social, it really depends on the network. So, you know, publishing at least weekly, but if you can publish more often than once a week, that's better. And, you know, thinking about it from a credibility standpoint, from your audience standpoint. So if somebody lands on your Facebook page and you haven't posted anything in a month, that's, they're going to think, you know, that's just not good credibility. That's not good PR. So looking at your Facebook page as an extension of your newsroom, I'm sorry, an extension of your website that you want to make sure that you're updating it at least weekly so that from a credibility standpoint, that's, it's, it's, it's a checkpoint today for your, for users will go on a Facebook page to see how legitimate a company or brand is. All right. So let's maybe walk through maybe a, an example here just to maybe wrap things up. Um, I've got a big announcement that I want to make. I don't know. I've, uh, it's a new feature. It's a new benefit. It's a new service uh, product. Uh, maybe I'm launching my business uh, for the first time. What's the best way to, you know, maximize uh, the distribution, amplify uh, the brand so we're, you know, reaching our audience. I mean, our goal is here, reaching our audience, uh, getting some great search benefits from that, and obviously, you know, journalists and, and media too. So number one is make sure that you have awesome visual assets. That could, those could be images. If you can do video, even better. Making sure that those images are you know, optimized even as down, down to the detail of the file names, have you know, keywords, the appropriate keywords in them. Um, making sure that when you do a press release that, for example, your, or your or a blog post, that you're, you're going through the steps that you would for a website optimization, the meta, meta tag, the the title, the, the description, your headline, your keywords are sprinkled throughout the, the press release, not necessarily linked in the paid one, um, but you know, you're optimizing the press release just like you would um, best practices for a web website, you know, for the most part. Um, and making sure that, for example, that you are doing social versions of it, that you're doing maybe a, a version of it that's gonna go um, through Medium, maybe a version is gonna be announced on LinkedIn, so you're covering all these different ways to distribute it. And Google is seeing all those different, you know, shares and content coming up in different ways. So, and besides Google, your audience is too. So those things working together are going to increase your exposure, increase your reach and give you better public re relations in the long run. Nice. Uh, and just the fact that I think you're out there more often, you're being exposed to your audience, more these journalists, as I think you mentioned there that, um, you know, it might not be necessarily about this specific, um, you know, announcement that they want to touch base with you, but it, you might be top of mind for something else later right. on. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think one other tip, if we have time for it, is to yeah. watch for that trending news. So being a part of, let's say, you know, your, maybe it's your, your industry is having a big conference. So looking at what, what is that hashtag and optimizing with that hashtag or, or maybe reaching out to the journalists that are going to be at that industry conference and letting them know that, it, you know, if you, they need to talk to somebody that you're available. So you're, you're doing all these things ahead of time and not just waiting to, be, to react. You're doing things proactively.